Welcome back, everybody. It feels like we haven't done this in a while, but it is Science Sunday. It has been a while. The kids have been waiting. Yeah, I, I bet they have patiently been they've waiting. Been, they've been sitting there. They've been waiting. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like we're channeling spring and summer vibes, especially with our outfits today. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do something that I feel like a lot of parents probably just like have lying around the house. I know my sister has random like little things of bubble solution all the time. So mm -hmm. we're gonna kind of test out how you can make your bubbles bigger. All right. While also explaining surface tension. So I'm gonna show you a little example of something. All then right, I'm, gonna have I'm excited. You do it. Okay, so the only thing you need for this is a flat surface, which we have this nice little flat black surface. We have a straw, I got one for you too. Mm -hmm. Bubble solution, which I put in this fancy little beaker that I found actually in the kitchen this morning. And I also have a spray bottle with some water. So take my straw. And I'm gonna dip it nicely into this bubble solution. Oh, yeah. And then I'm gonna go like this and try to blow a bubble. Look what happens. See how they pop so easily? Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Not okay. getting much there. You wanna try? Yeah, okay, let's see. Yeah, it's not, not looking great. I didn't even get, I didn't get anything. Uh, I got nothing, uh, guys. Lame. Okay, watch what happens now. All right, so I'm gonna take everything off and I'm gonna use my little spray bottle. Beep, 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 dee, dee, doo. Um, I would tell anyone doing this to first of all, make sure it's on like the little misty setting, not the aggressive one, because this morning I sprayed it all the way over there. But you wanna get your surface nice and, at least a nice little peak of wetness there. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put this back. You're gonna do the same thing, Kaylin, to make sure you all get right. a nice little amount at the bottom there. I'm excited. And then you're gonna try again. What's gonna happen? Okay, wow, look at that. Look how fancy I am. Now you try. Look at that. Okay, so here's what's going on. So when we had tried to do this on a dry surface, the reason why it won't work is that because soap and you know soap solution, bubble solution, things like that mm -hmm. are made up of essentially you know soap and water. So it kind of breaks up the surface tension by allowing for water to kind of be in between all of those soap molecules. But what happens is when you have a dry surface and you try to do the same thing, the outside water evaporates and that makes the bubble too thin. So when you go to pop it, you know, it pops, right, super okay. easily. But when you add the additional water, it's allowing it to kind of hold on to its surface tension because it keeps that water molecule in place instead of allowing it to evaporate. So it's kind of sitting on the top of the water molecule. So, so we, we see it now, if I touch it, we'll does touch that it. also, okay, okay. Okay, but watch this. Okay, so I just did what you did. Okay. But I'm gonna wet my finger. I'm gonna see what happens. Beep, beep. Oh, oh. You know, live TV people. All right, let's try that one more time. And so you can do it and it won't pop the bubble. Yes, watch this. Don't worry guys, we practiced this before and I promise it works. We need to make sure it's nice. And Look at that, wow. So it's because I'm continuously not breaking the surface tension of the bubble. Mm -hmm. um, you can also do the same thing by dipping your straw into the water and actually you can put in multiple bubbles within themselves. Oh wow. Over and over again. Now, if you're thinking, why do we care? There's mm -hmm. a few kind of real world examples of surface tension. Um, you know, when you get your car waxed and it, like the rain kind of beads off, that's because you're not breaking the surface tension of water. Um, the reason why bubbles are circular has to do with surface tension. And the reason why rain droplets are the size that they are all have to do with surface tension. Also, you see those little water bugs, you know, that like can walk on water sometimes, you know, when they're at yeah. the lake. That's all because they're not breaking the surface tension of water. So a fun little bubbly experiment that you can use for the kiddos. And stuff you probably definitely have at your house. So I yes. hope you guys will give that a try and join us just after the break. We have more. 